Hello BC team, it is 7.30 and we have 24 hours to make this day count. Today we'll talk about procrastination and how to eliminate it from your life. Of course you can't completely delete the state of mind which is called procrastination, but you have the ability to improve dramatically the efficiency and the amount of work that you do every single day. But most important of all, you need to improve how you feel about your work and in general what is in your mind when you sit down and open your computer in order to work. Okay, it is 7.33, so we can go for a fast run. The reason that I create this video right now is because I suffer from procrastination right now. One of the most important parts to not procrastinate is to love what you're doing. And this is my main problem right now. Right now the majority of my work is small responsibility. So I need to make two assignments with my university, create the presentation of my thesis, and of course work with the BBC squad in some small responsibilities. This means that I don't have even one hour to work in my machine learning projects. And this is really difficult when it continues consistently for two, three, five or ten days. I just found an old friend, but not just an old friend, someone that I knew when I was eight or nine years old. And this made me feel like I am really old. Okay, I know that this is really ungrateful and I'm only 23 years old, but at the same time this is a reminder and this helps me the procrastination part. From my point of view we have a finite amount of time in this earth. So every day we need to do two things. The first thing is that you will do something that you are grateful if you die tomorrow. And the second thing is that you will do something that you will be grateful after one or two years. I am really good on doing the latter, but I suck on doing the first one. So I will try to both enjoy life and delete procrastination. <laughs> Right now is 11.25 and the day is good enough, I guess. I made a lesson with my sister in linear algebra and more specifically a method of Gauss. I don't remember the exact name, but the main idea is to solve n by n equations with a really fast algorithm. So I tried to both teach this method to my sister and at the same time to create the general algorithm and now my sister will create the program, which I think that this is one of the best methods to understand linear algebra. Also, I work with one of my assignments. It is an assignment in object-oriented programming, which is easy enough. You just need to work. And finally, I took a power nap for 15 minutes without a break after I wake up, which is really important. Right now, I want to work in programming again for half an hour or one hour. So give me one hour and I will be back. I'm really close to finish my assignment in C++ and right now I will work in my presentation. I have about half an hour before lunch time. So work and unboxing. I'm waiting for this stuff for about one or one and a half months because I want to up my production value in my courses. So it will be a really good fit if I have a green screen during my animation, programming and all that stuff in the courses. And I'm working in the machine learning course for the past two or three months so right now is the time that I will start recording and it's the perfect timing to start working on that. Okay, I think that this is perfect, but I'm sure that this will not fit really good in my room. So I have working on an idea. Let me show you. Okay, as you can see here, we have this big guy which is a curtain it is white so i can't use it however i think that i can cut this part right here and replace it with green but i don't want to work on that and start stitching it so i will go to someone to create it <laughs> I 
just finished with a thumbnail for the today's video and I thought that the best and one of the easiest way to understand strict theory is to start from the documentaries. I know that this is not the most scientific method but really fast it can give me a raw idea about the field and this will help me to go on to the more scientific stuff. So let's go back to procrastination. I start to believe that procrastination can be eliminated with two different ways. The first one is motivation. The main idea is to be motivated from something that you want to do or from someone in order to actually get the work done. This is a really important method and it actually helps us a lot. However, this is not a consistent way that you can use time and time again. The second method is discipline. Discipline is something that you build over time and the main idea is that you are the boss of yourself. For my mind, this means that when I say to myself that I need to do something, I need to do it. For example, when I need to wake up without snoozing, I tell to myself like a boss that this is the only time that I can get up and work. This is a mind illusion or a mind trick that I created for myself and helped me to overcome procrastination. It is a lot easier when you have someone to tell you what to do, when you have a boss that tells you that this work needs to end today. With this idea, you have the ability to create a boss for yourself. But there are a lot mini tricks that you need to follow in order to succeed on that. My main trick that I can give you right now is that you need to always do what the boss says. This means that you need to train your brain that when you say something like a boss, it needs to be done. And if you follow that and you are really restricted with yourself, you can really change your day-to-day -day life. Right now is 8.30 and I'm working for the past two hours in my thesis and more specifically the presentation part. But right now I want to talk to you about something else. For the past eight to 10 days, I have an incredible support for you guys by leaving so many great comments and inspire me to work even more me and the whole PBC squad. As a matter of fact, I can show you. Keep in mind that for the past one year, we have an average of one to 2,000 views, which is incredible, but you need to see what happens right now. As you can see, we have approximately 19,000 views every two days, which is insane. And as you can see, every single hour, we have 500 to 700 people that are watching our channel, which is insane. This is only the new video that starts right now and we have the whole PBC team that comes and makes so many great comments which is which is incredible. I just wanted to tell thank you to all you guys that help us and support us so much. <laughs> I want to take some time lapses, but I make a twist on that. I will go with my sister for rollerblading and we'll take the time lapses. So, see you there. We just stopped in a small playground, which is good enough, I guess. And we will take some more time lapses here. So about procrastination, sometimes it is even better when you give yourself a bit of a break. But the important part is to do something that you didn't do before. This will regenerate yourself and will give you space to breathe. So right now we go to sleep, it is 10.40, so 40 minutes late. I want to wake up tomorrow at 6.30 or 7 o'clock and I think that I will not go for a run because I'm exhausted. Hello BC team, right now is 10.30. And this was a great day. I woke up at 6 o'clock without electricity in my whole house, but I got an internet connection from my phone and start working. So until now I managed to do a course with my sister in linear algebra again. I continue my research 
from string theory to M theory and how you can prove that string theory actually exists. And most important of all, I wrote about two PowerPoint pages for handwriting and CNNs, convolutional neural networks. So today we are one or two hours out of the 24 hour restriction, but this is for a good reason. My sister works for the past three or four days on a new Arduino project. The general idea of the project is to create a Morse code in the Arduino using a button. And at the same time, she tries to level up this project by using a display. And right now she will try to use a tiny Arduino and solder this whole project in order to keep it in her room without the Arduino board. So for the last time lapse, I will show you this project. I will see you in three days and don't forget to subscribe in order to join the PBC team. And as always, keep coding guys. Mm -hmm.